Hi, this is Paul. I want to make this video a quick video. Uh, throughout this video, you're going to see a bunch of uh, headlines from this particular website. Well, fellow YouTuber, uh, Comic Book Cast 2, which I actually, I like them. I actually like them, but I have kind of a love-hate relationship with them, I guess, if you can say in a way. And it's mostly because I think they, I don't know if it's, I know it's a bunch of different people that, you know, that participate in the site. I don't know exactly all who the players are in the website, but I know there's a whole bunch of different guys that that do it. But as you can see from these, uh, um, some of the titles of these videos that they make, I do think uh, uh, some of them on there have, an, have just a bias against DC films. Uh, especially, let's take put the Suicide Squad movie, which is coming out this weekend. You know, you have titles like, well, bad ratings, crit ratings, kill Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad bomb reviews, uh, critics of Suicide Squad, uh, Suicide Squad, is this the worst movie ever? With titles like that. I know a lot of this is clickbait. A lot of it's just to draw clicks and stuff to get people to click on it. I know that's part of it. And, and that's what they do to get, to get clicks and get, um, get views. But it just, I don't know, it just pisses me off. Like I said, I, I like, it's funny because I, I like their other stuff, but I, I just I just think there is a bias there against DC films. And I know people are going to say, oh, well, DC films suck. Uh, but, but that's, again, it's objective. It's an opinion, okay? And, and they do have a right to have their opinion. But I, I just think they're totally slanted and biased towards Suicide Squad. I'm going to see Suicide Squad on, on Saturday. And, I'll, and when I do my review, I'm going to do a, a spoiler review on my other, a spoiler free review on my other channel, Trey Pastor's channel, and on this channel, Paul's Views and Opinions, I'm gonna do a, a spoilers review where I, you know, tell you, you know, details and stuff and spoilers are in the movie. And I just, like I said, I just, I don't know, I just feel this inherent bias they, they have <laughs> against. Now, I don't, I'm not a big fan of uh, Rotten Tomatoes. I never paid attention to Rotten Tomatoes either way. I never went to see a movie based on what Rotten Tomatoes said anyway. I don't care. Rotten Tomatoes can go on for a thousand years or shut down. It doesn't matter. Rotten Tomatoes never uh, made me... I never saw Rotten Tomatoes go and say, you know what? I'm not going to go see that movie. You know, just because, you know, Rotten Tomatoes... It's just, I know it's just a place where all the critics, they get their reviews and put them in like a blender and they give you an average. But, like I said, I never paid attention to Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes doesn't make or break a movie for me. What makes or break a movie for me is... Uh, or makes me want to go see a movie is I see the trailer or the subject matter is interesting to me and I want to go see it. And like I said, I could give a crap less what a critic says about anything. Okay, that, if I want to go see the movie, I'll go see the movie. Okay, that's just the way I am. If I want to go see the movie, I'm going to go see the movie. Screw the kid, critics, I'm going to see the movie. Okay? But I just feel like comic book cast too, which I, again, like I said, I like most of, you know, and a lot of times I, I can't say I it's kind of a love hate thing. I, I do watch the majority of their movies, uh, their you know their videos, but just in the last couple of days, this this rash of of uh, of Suicide Squad, you know, because now the embargoes lifted off it, and they and all the view, and the views are coming in, and I know I think some of them are bad, and a large part of them are bad, and some of them are good. I saw one review by uh, Jeremy Johns who said he liked it. I think I heard Chris Stuckman gave it a C plus. I saw uh, Grace Randolph who does Beyond the Trailer. She said she was disappointed in it, but I'm going to judge for myself, okay? I, I, I just, this kills me how people, it's like, well, it's the internet. You, you're always going to have trolls that that love to to rip things because it's more much more fun to tear things down than to try to be positive about things, okay? And like I say, you don't have to be positive if you don't like it. If you don't like the movie, you don't like the movie, but stop inherently, uh, with these negative headlines, that just just it just makes me really not even want to watch them. But then again, I know I'm going to watch. I'm going to inevitably when I click on YouTube and I go to my page, Comcast is there because I'm subscribed to them. So of course I'm going to see their other titles and I'll click on those. But it just seems like they just have this inherent yeah bias against you know trying to be act like they're subjective, but they just you know they really just. <laughs> love to tear down DC movies, okay? I, 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 that's the way I feel. Like, it's my opinion, okay? 
and again, not all of the guys on there. I know it's a bunch of different guys that do that do um, reviews and contribute to that channel, but I just feel like, okay, particularly one guy, and I can't stand his voice, but I'll watch his videos. And I think the guy's Armin. I guess that's the guy's name. I, I just, I don't know. I just feel like he just takes a particular glee and reporting anything negative DC. I just think he does. I think he has a particular glee, you know, trying to act like he's objective, but he just has a particular glee when reporting the bad things that happen, you know, if anything negative comes out about the DC films. Okay, I just I just think he has a personal, that's my opinion, I think he has a, he takes a personal delight in it. Okay, which is just really, really, really ridiculous in my opinion. Okay, like I said, and like I said, I have a love hate because I still, like to watch the other things they talk about, but I just feel like the, with, the, with the DC movies, you just, I'm sorry, you just, and like I said, and I'm, in my opinion, I like the Man of Steel, I like Batman v Superman, I don't, okay, and, and I know people, those movies are divisive, and a lot of people didn't like them, a lot of people did like it, but, and I'm going to see Suicide Squad, I'm not waiting for any critic to tell me what, you know, just because they didn't like it, uh, I'll judge it for myself, I'm going to go in, with an open mind and watch it and, and I'll give you my honest opinion on it, okay? And let you know what I think, feel. But I just felt like making a video because I just, I don't know, just it's a comic book cast too, just, I don't know, just they drive me crazy with these negative headlines. But like I said, it is what it is. It's their channel. They can do what they want. But I just, it just, it's to the point where I almost want to, I almost feel like Elvis oh, and just take a gun when I click on a thing and I see the headline and just want to, <laughs> just, hook. <laughs> Just you know, just shoot you know, shoot the TV. You can just because this is this ridiculous or the computer screen in this case. Is this? Ugh, I'm just. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to vent basically. This video is just me venting. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna go see Suicide Squad on Saturday, and I'm gonna give my spoiler review, spoiler free review on my other channel, Trey Pastor channel, and then my spoiler review on this channel, and you'll know honestly what I think of it. Okay, and I'll I'm, I want to be objective and about it and. I, yeah, I do want the DC movies to succeed, but I'm gonna try to I'm gonna be, try to be straightforward and and give you my honest opinion about it, okay? And try not to be and, and put a fanboy thing aside and give you my honest opinion about it, okay? I think I did that with Batman v Superman, and so I'm gonna continue to do that, okay? So that's it for this video. Um, again, feel free to leave uh, comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you? <laughs> Do you think uh, Compocast 2 has an agenda? Or maybe you think they don't. Maybe you think they are objective. I mean, I'm completely off base and and just, you know, have it wrong in my head. But I, I know that's just the way I feel about it. Sometimes I just feel like they have this inherent bias against these DC films. Just, and they love to put, and again, I, again, I know a lot of it's clickbait, but it seems like they just get off on, uh, on, the, uh, on just crapping all up. Crapping on, you know, crapping on these on these movies. Okay, so anyway, let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Paul saying so long and take care.